CBS, Young and the rest of spoilers, everyone had seen a picture of Phyllis dragging Jeremy's body in a white sheet, but few had witnessed the scuffle they had experienced. Was the dead one Jeremy himself? Could a weak woman like Phyllis kill Jeremy? Those are the questions that really interest me. Recall the previous episodes when JT was diagnosed as dead. Nikki, Victoria, Phyllis, and Sharon bury him in the ground, but because a certain rain made the soil soften, JT crept up from the ground and came back to life. Everything seems to be a horror movie, but these are the extreme, reasonable details, making this movie more attractive than ever. JT is back, taking revenge on those who hurt him, but he was wrong because this alliance is too crowded. JT alone cannot harm them. But this time, it's Jeremy, a notorious gangster. Having many juniors as well as the acts of cruelty, he is ready to gut any enemy to intimidate his prey. Phyllis bumped into the wrong person. He'll get his revenge. If Jeremy really not dead yet, with a stab wound in the stomach, it's really hard to kill a person. Maybe at that moment, Phyllis panicked, thinking he had stopped breathing. But no, he escaped from the hole that Phyllis had dug. It was horrible. Phyllis was worried that she had killed someone and would go to jail any minute, but she didn't understand the trouble yet to come to her. Jeremy isn't dead yet, and she certainly won't go to jail, but she will pay for everything she's done. Jeremy returns silently, threatening Phyllis and even killing her. Jeremy is not a simple man. He's an asshole and is ready to destroy anyone who gets in his way. The fact that Jeremy is alive is just a guess, but I believe it's more than 80% correct. Because there's no way that there can be such a silly death, there needs to be a clear plot. There needs to be logic so the fans don't feel cheated. Now Phyllis is preparing her escape plan, but Chance had found proof she was alive, along with bloodstains in her room, which means Chance has enough ground to order Phyllis to show up. Don't pretend that you're dead anymore. It's not good. If she doesn't show up, she will have to pay for her mistakes even more. Jeremy is alive, and he is being treated at the hospital. He hasn't shown up yet. But once it appears, it will be an obsession for everyone. Be careful. Diane and Phyllis have their lives threatened, or they will go to jail for a long time. And Jeremy lived comfortably and freely in another city. Mm -hmm.